Hey, exciting news. NVIDIA has launched yet another technology, at least in beta form, of their stuff that requires their RTX tensor cores, but probably wouldn't really require tensor cores to run on. It could run on a normal CPU or a normal GPU, but they've chosen to lock it down to their tensor cores. But hey, it's free stuff if you happen to have their tensor cores. And it is, I mean, I, I'm giving them a hard time here. It is nice to have the dedicated part of your chip so that your normal CPU and GPU are freed up to do whatever else you're doing. But again, programs like this do exist and you know can run on normal CPUs and GPU cores. Anyway, now in the past, they focused more on the gamer market for live streaming with their NVIDIA broadcast giving you noise cancellation tools and an AI green screen effect. And I've reviewed that in the past. You could take a look at the video up here if I remember to link that. <laughs> anyway, now it's looking like they're focusing more on the professional productivity aspect of the GPU market. And this is NVIDIA Canvas. The idea is to very quickly generate a landscape portrait with limited, uh, either limit in a limited time frame or with limited artistic ability. So here's the real test. Can this make my mom proud of me? <laughs> okay, so I have no artistic ability at all. My sister was a little older than me and always more artistically talented. So I draw my little stick figures. My sister would do a photorealistic oil painting. My mom hangs both of them up on the fridge. I'm not an idiot. I know which one's better. I know my mom's not proud of my picture just as much as my sister's. Anyway, so let's test this thing out. I have barely touched it. Here's what I've produced so far. Let me actually shrink myself down here. I'm melting. All right, anyway, uh, so, so you can get a better idea of what's going on here. So this is the extent to which I've played with it. I literally just like drew a couple blobs here, told it that I wanted these to be clouds. I wanted this to be a mountain and I wanted this to be a tree. And then you can select filters for the type of scene that you want. And it can reinterpret that based on different AI algorithms. And again, the way I told it what I wanted each thing to be is using the materials here. Now this also supports layers and you can actually export this into Photoshop directly so that you're including the layers. So Photoshop would keep your layers in there rather than just taking it as an image into Photoshop without the separated layers. Now I'm not good enough with Photoshop for that to be relevant to me, but for people who have actual artistic ability, I don't know guys. So let's see if we can make this a, uh, uh, let's 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 start a new one here and let's see if I can make myself a channel logo Okay, let's let's see if I can do something with this. Well first Let's let's be Bob Ross and make some happy little clouds So I clicked on the cloud button and see it's a very soft cloud effect if I color this in It seems to make it a harder cloud effect and again This can be reinterpreted based on the scene that I want Let's just say I want this one right now. And I feel like I need a little wispy cloud streak right there Oh, this is gorgeous. Look mom. I drew a cloud. Are you proud of me? Oh, she says now draw a tree. Okay. Well, I'll try to draw a tree um, Actually, you know what? Let's draw a mountain. Sorry, mom. I'm not drawing a tree for you Okay, so if I draw that you just get this hazy little outline and I think if I color it in more it will Yeah, it'll try to actually do more definition on that mountain, which is kind of neat Let's just color that in there with my amazing skills. Look at that. We've got a mountain and now let's throw in some stones and say like Daniel Owen. Here's my Daniel Owen tech logo. D O. Now, I feel like we need to add in something uh, extra special here. Maybe some. Can we make a waterfall? Um, hmm. I'm not sure how well that got interpreted as a waterfall. So let's back that up a bit. Uh, you know, maybe we need some snow on the mountain though. Okay, maybe we need some snow on this mountain. Wait, can I, I, I have my undo button. Where's my redo button? Oh, well, we'll go back to the stones, make myself that, that O again. Let's get some, uh, let's get some snow on this mountain here. Okay, I'm not sure I'm convinced that that looks like a very realistic snowy mountain. Now, what do you guys think? Is that the limit of my artistic abilities or is that a limit of the, uh, the program? I think I'm gonna get rid of that snow 
and um, let's uh, let's throw in a forest over here. So th this mountain is coming up out of a forest. I think that's important. There's our forest there. And all right, guys, let's reinterpret this as a, you know, a few different scenes and see which one we like best. Ooh, silhouette. Oh, that one's kind of pretty. All right, guys, there we have it. My new channel logo. I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, what do you think? Would my mom be proud of me? Would she hang this up on the fridge? Now, what are my overall thoughts on this technology? I think it's cool that NVIDIA is throwing out these free AI applications to run on the Tensor Cores for people who have it. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it's kind of silly to say that this kind of thing can only run on RTX stuff. That's a marketing thing. Although it is nice to have it accelerated on the Tensor Cores. There's no reason programs like this can't run on a normal CPU or GPU, and there already are other programs similar to this that do that. Now, uh, what do I think of the quality of this? I'm actually fairly impressed by what I'm getting here. Now, like I said, I'm not enough of an artist to actually tell you how usable this would be in an actual professional workflow. I could see it as a neat way to get a quick background image and then maybe take this into Photoshop and do something else with it. I don't know. To me, it seems maybe possibly usable, but not my area of expertise. I'm very interested in what all of you think in the comments sections. And I do read all the comments. Thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to my channel members who hit that join button down there to help fund me over here. I got an extra one today, I think. Alvaro, thank you. You are an extra beautiful person. And I hope all of you have an excellent day. Where's my stop record?